Hello, mares and stallions. This is Moonsaber, and welcome to part 19 of our Let's Play of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. So in the last episode, we blitzed a uh, core hall, took over the media, and uploaded some incriminating evidence about Manx to the good people of the Dominion. And let's... And it seems like it had the effect we were hoping for. So in this episode, we're going to continue on and see what happens now. I expect a cutscene. These shocking revelations, a veritable firestorm of anti manx sentiment. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. How do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Of using aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I won't stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just going to spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. You want us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. All right, let's go and look at the news. Kate Lockwell here, live from Core Hall. There's rioting in the streets. Citizens are setting fire to government buildings to express their shock and anger at the startling revelations from earlier today. Donnie, what's the situation where you are? I had a brother on Torsonus. I had a brother there. Um, I, um. Right. Uh, th th thank, thanks for that, Donnie. Uh, Okay, Emperor Menx broadcast a statement earlier today. Unfortunately, UNN satellites were on lockdown at the time. Uh, let's replay a bit of that. This evidence has been falsified. The enemies of the Dominion will go to any length to soil my good reputation. These ruthless, slanderous attacks cannot... At that point, the Emperor was shouted down. He's since retreated to his palace and refuses to speak to anyone. In this reporter's opinion, Emperor Menx has been revealed as a... <laughs> Well, there you have it. Give me one quick moment, and I'll be right back.
Okay, and I'm back. We do have a new uh, reward up here on the top for completing the revelation. We have mini blitz. Let's over head on to the laboratory. Nothing new here. You don't talk much. Let's head to the armory and talk with Swan. <laughs> you see? Told you I could build something better than that piece of crap, Odin. I like that. That's the spirit, brother. Shomu's boss. Got some work to do on the chassis still. But I got to thinking about upgrades and barriers, you know? They ain't gonna be cheap, cowboy. Big honk a thing like that never is. But they'll be worth it, you'll see. That's what I like to hear. I'll take a look and see what's affordable. Alright, so let's go ahead into the armory chassis. For the Dominion, Thor. We have a... Th it's two upgrades of the 330 millimeter barrage cannon, which stuns central targets and does massive area damage. Or the Immortality Protocol, which allows the Destroy Thors to be rebuilt in the field. Now, Swan wasn't kidding. These are some expensive upgrades. So the Immortality Protocol allows a Thor to be, re to be rebuilt on the field without having to build a brand new one. It can be quite useful for uh, if you have to uh, make sure that you don't waste too much of your minerals and Vespine gas on rebuilding, on retraining new Thors. But do keep in mind that it is under a cooldown. The 33 uh, barrage can improves the standard barrage ability, allowing it to stun the central target and do massive damage to the area around it. Good upgrades. Let's go ahead on to the bridge. We'll talk with Horner. Those classified documents we found on Core Hall weren't anything special. Just referred to some old bioweapons lab orbiting Castanar. I think this one might be different. The file suggests they were planning to terminate everyone who ever worked there. I assume that doesn't mean firing them. But why would Manx want to kill a whole research staff? I don't know. But it seems like something we should check out. It does indeed. Hmm. Let's talk with Tychus. Uh, so you're thinking about giving up this life of luxury and becoming a professional broadcaster? Oh, regular folks just ain't ready for the raw sex appeal I'd unleash into the great little lives. I reckon my niche is right here with you, old buddy. Right to the end. I'm glad you're part of all this, Tychus. You did real good today. Hmm. But yeah. By finding those secret documents, we unlock a secret mission that we can play here in Castanar. And we're going to do go ahead and do that. The classified documents we found on Core Hall imply the Dominion has a top secret bioweapons lab on an orbital platform at Castanar. If the Dominion is cooking up a big surprise for us, I'd like to know about it. So we, it's called Piercing the Shroud. We have to investigate the Dominion Labs. We get 125,000 credits for it, and as well as four Protoss Research and three Zerg Research. Good amount of Protoss and Zerg Research, and the credits are nice. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So what's the scoop on this top secret death lab? This asteroid is registered as a beryllium storage warehouse, but that must be a cover for the Dominion's bio lab. Let's hope so. We'd look pretty silly coming all this way for a few tons of beryllium. Did those documents give us any clues as to what the Dominion's cooking up in there? No, sir. But they did contain some of the facility's security codes, so we may be able to hack into their systems. Sounds fun. Well, as long as we're here, we may as well take a look. Might as well. I mean, if they were that important enough to be considered classified. All right, let's jump right in. Sir, parts of the facility seem to be scan shielded. Our signals are breaking up left and right. Be careful in there. Hey, careful's my middle name. <laughs> I thought it was Eugene. <laughs> Shut it, Matt. All right, boys. Stay frosty. 
So like back in the tutorial, we have Ax we have uh, Rainer back with us again. What's the plan? And he's got a new uh, ability with him, Breach Charges, Talk. which are good for destroying doors. So we already have our first bonus objective, Protoss Relics. Uh, surprise. The door's sealed. Nothing a little breach charge won't cure. Like a plan. Raiders roll. Place a breach charge. Wait for the timer to go out. And bada bing bada boom, let's rock and roll. This facility is strictly off limits. Rainer? Halt! You're under arrest! Not today, buddy. Time to man up. So we need to investigate the Dominion Labs and Rainer has to survive. Like but let's go ahead and take a look at this computer terminal and see what we got up ahead. Try any rebel you see. Looks like we got a reception committee waiting for us. Adjutant. Activate those gun turrets and give them a surprise. System accessed. Decrypting security overrides. System control established. Well, we got half the guns. Should take some of them out at least. So in this case, you can choose between activating the left side guns, which will most likely take out the fire bats, or the right side guns, which will take out the marines. I think I'm going to go ahead and activate the right side. Or at least take out a good majority of them. Raiders roll. Where does it hurt? Medics, you get back. You're not Break supposed down. to be on the front. You can count on me. Oh my god. Don't kill me. What do we got up here? These creatures, they ain't like any sir I've ever seen before. Matt, scan their biosignatures. Hold on. The signal's weak in there. Sir, I'm reading both Zerg and Protoss DNA. Were those things assimilated somehow? I don't know. I'm real curious as to what they're doing inside a Dominion lab. Check it out. We got that Rainer guy trapped in lab one. Uh oh. Huh, nice. Release the Zerg. You gotta destroy that holding pen, otherwise the Zerg will just keep coming. It's a breach charge. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Raiders roll. And let's move on. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. They got out. That ain't good. Of course they got out. Time to man up. Anyway, we now picking up that gives us access to grenades, which are good for dealing with some light a cluster of enemies on the ground. Sounds like a plan. It runs on an ammo system, so do be mindful of that. Give it a toss, and there you go. Roll. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the medic. I'm... You can count on me. Let's see. I think we're good so far. There shouldn't be any. There shouldn't have been any Protoss research just yet. Hold them back! Don't let them in the lab. Count on me. Let's have another grenade. Raiders roll. Talk to me. Talk let's go ahead and move on to this terminal and see what. See what's over here. Looks like we got a few options on this terminal to soften them up before we go in. So we can release Zealots, Protoss units. We can release Zerglings. Or we can release Ultralis. 
Mm, let's go with Zerglings. You just release a whole lot of Zerglings. And we'll come through and shoot through everything. Just to clear it up. Sounds like a plan. Alright, so now what's up? Looks like the same creature was mutated and cloned over and over. Matt, you got any additional info? Stedman's been running some tests, sir. He says the specimen's DNA strands have been artificially spliced. Whoever's in charge of this mess did it deliberately. That is definitely not good. Matt, we've got to blow this place sky high. No way we can just leave it standing. Well, I'm picking up a strong power signature close to you. There must be a large fusion reactor somewhere in the facility. Perfect. We'll find the hmm. reactor, destroy it, then we're out of here. So that's our next objective. We have to go to this fusion reactor and destroy it. Destroying this holding pen released the Protoss relic that we can collect. But it's got me thinking that the other one might be in this first one. And I just missed it. So I'm heading back over there to take a quick look. Time to man up. You can count on me. Okay. No, no, it wasn't there. Raiders roll. Alright. So hopefully that's the first Protoss relic and I haven't missed them yet. What's the plan? This better be good. Talk to me. Yeah, Raynor does a lot What's more up? damage with his rifle than the other Marines do. You can count on me. He's also got more health and more armor. Which makes sense because he is the hero unit. Anyway, we're gonna head over here and move on to the next area. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. I think if we Time go, so over there's a restoration charge, Sounds like a plan. which you can use to restore health and ammo to, I'm um, not ammo, health to your Time units. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. I think. I think you want Raiders to breach. Roll. Breaching this door will unlock a new. Will to get to a sp secret area. Yeah, this is where the plasma uh, plasma ammo is at. They were testing these weapons on the specimens. What the hell have they been up to here? So, an experimental plasma gun. You fire a super pl heated plasma at a target that does 150 flat damage. Sounds like a Very powerful for a single target Raiders attack. Roll. You can count on me. So, for example, Sounds like a plan. Like that. Roll. And there's more plasma ammo. So let's go and access this computer terminal and see what we can get. So you can choose for this warbot, give it anti-armor missiles, anti-personal napalm, or just all-purpose cannon. All-purpose cannon will do about relative equal damage to both vehicles and infantry. And then obviously anti-armor will be effective against armor units, and anti-personnel will be effective against infantry. Personally, I'm going to go with the all-purpose cannon. So we're just going to have the bomb move up ahead, he'll draw most of the fire, while my boys come in and clean up afterwards. 
What's up? You can go on ahead. Good job. Alright. Clear that out. And we can come over here to this terminal now. You read me, Matt? I could use some reinforcements down here. They got something big in the next room, and I don't think it's friendly. You got it, sir. I only have one dropship available. What do you need? So here we can choose what reinforcements we'll get. You can request eight marines, three marauders, four fire bats, or three marines and three medics. I think what I will choose is the marauders. Yes, sir. Your reinforcements are inbound. And here's the dropship that'll come in with our three marauders. What's up? Talk to me. What's up? Now then, in here there's a brutalisk. Very dangerous, especially in this mission where you are very limited in your units. You can count on me. Raiders roll. But let's first clear out the area. Sounds like a plan. Uh, can you not be in the way? All right, I need you guys to take a moment. Pause right here. You can count on me. Time to man up. Count on me. So we can kill these forces. Raiders roll. Let's go over here and clear out this area. Count on me. Sounds like a plan. And we have plasma Raiders ammo over roll. here. Time to man up. Now I'm gonna have all of Raiders my roll. now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have all my guys come over here Break except down. for Rainer. You can count on me. So here's the brutalisk, and in Raiders order to get roll the options to find him, we have to go over to this terminal. Brutalist, huh? So the Dominion's doing research on these things, too. Mean-looking sucker. This might not be the best time to take on a giant Zerg monster, but Stedman still needs more Brutalist samples to complete his research. It's your call. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm feeling ballsy. Let's go ahead and release the Brutalist. Like a plan. So now with the Brutalist release. Count on me. Time to man up. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds what I'm gonna like do is I'm gonna Time to man up. Pretty, pretty much be kiting this Brutalist Sounds around. Like plan. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Okay. Like My kiting is not working. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Oh, What's up? So yeah, my hope was to uh, be able to just use Rainer to be able to use enough experimental plasma gun to be able to kill it, but he took a lot more... He uh, damaged me a lot more than I was looking than I was hoping for. So I had to bring him back over here. I think I might have lost a marine to him, which is fine. Trying to do it with the whole group of, with your entire force here is just gonna ask to get a lot of your units killed. So I'm gonna get a moment, wait for Rainer to recover his health. All right. And I believe over here is the other Protoss relic. Health and energy has been restored. Let's go ahead and fire at this Dominion Ghost. Never 
Here's roll. Now we'll place a breach charge. Sounds like a plan. We're close to that uh, count on me. reactor. Sir, you're right on top of that power signature. The fusion reactor must be nearby. Oh, Sounds like a plan. That does not look good. That really does not look good. But there's the reactor, so let's go ahead and smash it. And now we get to the second half of this mission. Breaking the place apart. Who knows what you'll run into? Just what I wanted to hear. Thanks for the heads up. Stay tight on me. Let's move, Raiders. We need to get out of here right now because we have a, ma a very angry hybrid that's on the loose now. Raiders and we cannot damage it at all. Count on me. Anyway, during this half of the mission, we'll have access. There are two more Protoss research we can collect. We also have access to a new special ability. Chrono Rift. Rift device. Must be based on alien tech. This is really playing with fire here. So the Chrono Rift device allows you to pop down an energy field which can slow down enemy units. Sounds like a plan. Can be useful. And there's the hybrid. Sir, if I'm reading this right, that hybrid is virtually indestructible. Don't try and fight it. Just get out of there. Oh, hell, that debris won't hold it for long. Keep moving. Go, go. The hybrid is on the move. And the hybrid is on the attack. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Luckily, it moves pretty slow. Another warbot. Send it after the hybrid to buy us some time. You can count on me. Time we'll have this warbot go out and Sounds like a plan. deal with hybrid. Raiders roll. Let's move. Get some more of this chrono rift ammo. That thought is doing what it can to hold off that hybrid, but it won't last forever. Let's go ahead and collect this relic. Yep, and the hybrid is still moving. We need to get the fudge out of here. I believe we come over here. Yeah, we can get access to some more chrono charges. The Chrono Rift device can even be used to uh, slow down that hybrid. Come on. 
Can get the fudge out of here. Sounds like a plan. There's the other Protoss relic. We're gonna come over here, collect this, and then we're gonna ninja. We're gonna quickly move back. Place another chrono field right there. Slow it down even more. More grenade ammo. Time to man up. You can count on me. Sir, I lost the hybrid signal. It seemed to just disappear. Define disappear. Oh, this is not good. We need to destroy these pods right now. Because they're releasing mini ultra risks. Last thing I need many ultras to deal with. We still got a hybrid on our butt. There it is. Transport, 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 get it out. And we're out of here. Whew! That was a little too close. Time we were leaving. Lift off. Matt, can you read me? I'm inbound in some big transport the Dominion was nice enough to supply. Don't shoot us down. All right, so with that, we got a little introduction to the hybrid and a taste of what was to come. But in the next mission, we're going to go and collect that final artifact. So until then, I thank you all for watching, and you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.